Hi guys, welcome back to Operator TV. IPOB versus Buari. Now you'll be wondering how did this come to this point. Anyway, this happened after the event that Ike Ikwerimadu went for in Japan, Nuremberg, and it was pelted with eggs and it was dragged, his clothes was turned. And this was done by members of IPOB in Germany. And afterwards, Namde Kanu, the head of the secessionist group, said he's going to give a million naira to anyone that will give useful information about the travel itineraries of southeastern governors or dignitaries. Well, Buari is attending a summit in Japan, and I posted a video about this. And this summit, he, this will be the second time Buari will be attending the summit. IPOB through their leader gave out an honor another order and this order is that IPOB members in Japan and in Asia should arrest disgraced Buhari in fact they claim that Buhari is not the real Buhari that Buhari is dead according to their leader they said this is a man an impostor from Sudan and they term him Al Sudani Jubril Al Sudani that is what the leader of IPOB calls President Muhammad Buhari. Anyway, I'm not going to bore you with all of that. I'm sure you must have heard this before. Now, there is a new twist. Igbo youths are warned to disregard attack order in Japan. The Ohaneze in the Igbo Youth Council Worldwide has cautioned the Igbo living in Japan and other Asian countries to disregard any order emanating from IPOB to disgrace or arrest President Mohamedou Buhari during his proposed visit to Japan. If you're just joining this channel for the first time, kindly tap on that subscription button if you have not done so and also the red notification icon bell. It is very important so that you will be notified whenever new videos are uploaded. The group in a statement obtained warned that Igbo should not engage in this because it will be a suicidal attempt to do such. Well, what do you guys think about this? They said it is suicidal to attempt any such order given by the IPOB leader Nambi Kanu, who it claimed will be relaxing in the comfort of his London home or somewhere in Europe, relaxing while others are put at uh, in arms way. That is what Ohaneze. Indigo Youth Council Worldwide is saying the group in the statement issued by Comrade Obina Achionye, Deputy President General on her name, Indigo Youth Council Worldwide, said it is suicidal and foolishness that someone will not participate in an assault proposed by him against President Muhammad Buhari in Japan and directs gullible Igbo youths to risk jail in Japan and deportations while he enjoys comfort in London. And of course, you know that Nambekano has British citizenship. Um, that is why he was able to move quickly out of Nigeria when he had problems with the government. Um, you, you know what really happened. Now, Comrade Obina Achiunye went further to say Asian countries are not like Europe, where someone will engage in activities against a visiting African president without heavy sanction and punishment by host country. So we call on Igbo staying in Japan to remember that Igbos are not traditionally violent people and will not and never identify with terrorism. Gradually, IPOB had lost the consciousness as defender of the Igbo now, ranking as a violent group capable of carrying arms in the nearby future. Now, guys, you see how this is turning out to be. We have the Ohanese in the Igbo. Now, this is a different faction. Probably they are they have affiliation with Masob and you know right now we have this group right now called IPOB. IPOB they claim that they have not been bribed and they are going to make sure that Biafra will come and they claim that Masob and the rest of this Ohaneze they've collected money bribes that's why they are not standing their ground and Ohaneze claim that there is no way Biafra will break out from Nigeria without war and they claim that they've tested what I think that is 1968 till 1970s and it was very brutal. It was very brutal. I think Ohaneze is speaking based on their own understanding and you know a lot of them are in politics and I don't know what's going to come out of this but as you see Nigeria right now, what's your take about it? Do you think Nigeria should break 
apart and what do you see uh, about this order this standing order IPOP leader Namde Kanu saying he's going to give 1 million naira to people that will give information about politicians how they stand politicians and dignitaries and also saying that IPOB members should disgrace arrest Jubril Hal Sudani that is President Muhammadu Buhari let us meet at the comments section below and while you're that if you've not done so I remind you again kindly tap on that subscription button and also the red notification icon bell below so that you will be notified whenever new videos are uploaded Thanks for stopping by.